subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. The cool crisp air signifies a change of seasons. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I will share tips on styling a casual and welcoming fall table. Join me. There's a quote that I enjoy and find very appropriate for what we're doing today, and it's by no author in particular. Autumn is the season to find contentment at home by paying attention to what we already have. And isn't that just perfect? We always say shop your home, and this is certainly the case today. When you're setting a fall table, go through your house, whether it's the bedroom, the living room, even the kitchen, pull together objects that could tie in with the theme, the season, or even a color. So keep that in mind. Let's get started with some tips on setting our fall table. Find your statement piece. While this can often be a dish pattern or perhaps a centerpiece design that you're interested in, uh, my inspiration is actually this Kaleem tablecloth from Maison Damine. I'm loving the cool blue with the casual denim look. And while I don't usually gravitate towards the color orange, I think it's a nice contrast that adds a rich and appropriate color for the season. This is a company that I found online about a year ago. I love their products, designed in Europe and made in India of 100% cotton, and the prices and the designs are amazing. I will put a link in the description below in case you're interested in looking. And this is my inspiration for our fall table today. Start with basics and add accessories, whether it's a neutral white or a patterned plate. Let it set the stage for your look and accent it with flatware that carries out your style. I am pairing this fabulous tablecloth with Noritake Adagio dinner plates that are new to me. I donated some dog food and supplies to a friend who has a rescue and dishes seem to find their way to me. These were no longer bringing joy to her family and she knew that they would go to a good home. And I am pleased to feature these today. And I am also pairing it with my favorite classic Blue Willow from Johnson Brothers. And in this bowl, we could serve chili or maybe a hearty soup for the fall. And I wanted to show you the Adagio pattern just a little bit closer. It has a platinum rim and it's got beautiful florals here and kind of a dusty blue and a rusty orange color. And I think this works so well for fall and I'm pleased to have these and it will certainly be enjoyed by our family. And for the flatware, you've probably seen this once before in my segments. This is the Medford Gold pattern by Linux. And I like it because it's not too fussy. It's rather classic. Stainless steel with gold accents, and the gold really works well for the harvest look. And you'll notice here for the dessert spoon, or is it a fork? It's a spork in the Medford pattern. It's a very odd one, but it actually works well because I like to serve apple crisp in the fall season, topped with vanilla ice cream. And so that works really, really well. And I can't wait to have some of that. It's one of my favorite desserts. And for the glasses, I have placed the blue from the Libby Glass Company. These are known as Duratuff glasses. They're very sturdy. I found these at the Catholic Charity Guild at a um, resale shop. You've probably seen me feature in the past and was so happy to have these. And I love adding blue to our look today. Since I'm not such a fan of orange, I think that works really well. It's very calming. And I need your help with this one. I found these on shopgoodwill.com. I know I've shared tips with you before on how to shop that site. 
and there were seven of these and it was a really good deal they didn't pack it very well and three of them were completely broken so i'm left with four which is not bad because they still are quite beautiful it is similar to the waterford crystal lismore pattern as far as the shape of the glass the bowl the stem and the base but it's not waterford and there is an acid etch stamp on it and i can't figure out who might have made these i need to go on replacements on their website and send a picture in and perhaps they could identify it for me so if you have any insight please let me know and i will show you the logo it is sort of like a p the letter p and it's a beautiful back stamp but i have been unable to source it so far so hopefully you can help me solve that mystery Add organic elements to your setting, such as a cloth napkin and a metal charger. This gives a different texture and vibe to your look. These napkins I found at World Market, they're only $1.99 each, and it's got a nice neutral, natural cotton background with a rust-colored leaf pattern. And it's rather casual, which I really like, and it ties in nicely with our tablecloth. And the charger you may have seen me feature before. It's from Southern Living at Home. They haven't made these in years. I don't think the company exists anymore. But these I always like for the fall or for a masculine tablescape. And it's sort of a rubbed bronze that has some of the colors in our tablecloth with a bit of a copper look as well. And I think that really sets us at ease for the table setting and it doesn't have an air of formality and that really makes for a beautiful setting. And in case I forgot to mention, this crystal goblet that I ordered at shopgoodwill.com, you know, the three came in broken and I had four remaining, they reimbursed me 100%. So these basically were free. They paid for the item and the shipping. So that's my bonus for all the frustration with that. So don't hesitate if you think about shopping on that site and I share lots of tips in other segments. The centerpiece doesn't have to be flowers. Here I'm bringing in more blue with this square-shaped chinoiserie ginger jar with a double happiness design. And I like that it breaks up the monotonous look of our round dinner plates and adds some interest. And I didn't want to place one of my large ginger jars. I really like everything about this style, but I needed some height. So what I did is I shopped my home and I found a bowl from my Villarin Bach Burgenland Blue pattern. We use this for German potatoes. We have them in many different sizes. And the design is carried out along the outer rim. And that works very well to elevate it. It mimics the shape and the flowers in the pattern and the color, they blend so well with the ginger jar. And on either side, I've placed our Burgenland Blue candle holders. Gives it more of a casual look. I didn't place crystal here. And some pumpkin candles from World Market. I couldn't resist this pair of brass peacocks from Hobby Lobby, especially at half price. I think they balance out the table nicely and that touch of gold goes very well with our autumn look. And you'll notice that there are also birds in the tablecloth, so kind of fits the theme just a bit. And even though they could stand alone quite nicely, I thought they might do with some embellishment. And I found this beaded floral pick at Hobby Lobby and I used wire cutters and pulled pieces off and made a bit of a designer look for these peacocks so that they are fashionable. And on either end of the table, I have special small dishes. And this one was part of the dish collection that my friend gifted me with, with the Noritake Adagio plates. This is also Noritake, it's hand painted. And her father-in-law brought this back many decades ago from his tour of duty in Japan. And it is absolutely beautiful and goes very well with all of the colors that are featured today. And you could place a sweet surprise in this. I like the unexpected on a table or perhaps in a glass dish like this. This is a vintage Caprice blue design. You could even put lemon slices to go with our iced tea. This I picked up at a garage sale nearby. It's a lovely piece that goes for about $40 on Etsy and I paid I think $2. It's got handles, gorgeous design, and I think that was quite a find. And inside I have placed just a dried decorative object that I had in my living room. So that's just for interest, but you could certainly use it for serving 
for your table. And this picture goes very well with our look today. It's the Intaglio Turkey design. This is a real McCoy pottery pitcher. I feature this in my Picture Perfect episode and it's for sale in my eBay store. And I will put a link in the description so that you can find it there if you're interested. And this is our table centerpiece for our fall look. Style your side table. This is a functional spot to showcase a seasonal display. You can incorporate natural and faux elements, such as fabric pumpkins. I picked these up in Franklin, Tennessee at an antique store. Nuts, these are spiced pecans, a Southern lady recipe that I will share. Feathers, which is a candle holder in my living room. Berries and silk flowers. The focal point of the buffet piece is this beautiful European cut crystal vase with a hobster design. And it's such a beautiful shape. It's got such detail. I think it's the prettiest one I've ever seen. And believe it or not, I was at a friend's house last week and he had this in a pile of Goodwill items to donate. He was cleaning out his china closet. He had acquired it from a friend's estate sale and he offered it to me and I am just over the moon, happy to have it. And I can't wait to use this in many different ways. And inside I have placed a ready-made arrangement from Hobby Lobby and I have embellished it with a few things such as these feathers that I had around in other arrangements and a coral hydrangea that ties in nicely with all the colors in our tablecloth with the addition of this yellow flower. So I've tried to create a very natural and interesting look with rich colors of the fall. And this is placed in a feather holder where I normally have a glass candle in my living room as mentioned. And then I placed this on a glass mosaic plate charger. This I picked up at an estate sale and I just knew that I would find a use for it. And holding it up is this chinoiserie blue and white pedestal. I am thrilled to have it. I found this at the Spring Antique Mall that I featured in a previous segment. I was too busy filming and went home and thought, you know, I really should have bought that. So two days later, I went back with a friend and it was still there. So I'm pleased to have it and I will use this for many things in the future as well. And this is the showcase and bell of the ball for our buffet. You know what they say, it's all in the details and there's a lot going on here. Let me show you how I've built all of these items together to create our sideboard look. First of all, I used my silver tray that usually sits here and I didn't want to have to store it. So why not use it? And it really is cohesive that way. And in my fall box, I found this table runner that I don't use as often. It's a bit on the shabby side. It's missing some tassels and I thought, why not? I'm going to just wrap it around and add some layers to our look here. And it doesn't have to be structured or perfect. And on top, I have placed some crystal items. This is a compote that I picked up at an estate sale with those wonderful Southern Lady pecans. And my favorite bonbon spoon, Gorham Strasberg. I think that's a really nice unexpected treat. And of course the fabric pumpkins. And this is a piece that I usually bring out in the fall made by the ladies of our church, a cross stitched pillow with lots of detail and that adds some interest and something handmade to add to our look. And here's another Waterford compote. This I bought a year ago at the Spring Antique Mall and I have simply placed one of the fabric pumpkins and a feather that I had on hand just to make it look interesting and it elevates it a bit instead of just covering it in pumpkins. And I have three of these tortoise shell glass candle holders that I've added for ambiance if we're having a dinner party. Some more fabric pumpkins. And here I've placed a Waterford Crystal Pear Paperweight and pears do remind me of autumn. I think I need to find the apple. That would go really well too. And I pulled that from my living room. And this item here is a vintage EAPG spooner. You probably saw this in my earlier episode of the Spring Antique Mall. I've simply placed some florals and a feather that I had around the house. And when I'm serving dessert, I would definitely remove the florals and place the oversized dessert spoons here for a treat. 
especially around the fall, we might have cobbler and need a larger spoon and this would work very well. Of course, you could also put fresh flowers in it too. And I just love spooners. I think they're so purposeful. And with the handle, it makes it extra special. And just a variety of items here to complete our fall look and add interest. As someone is dining at the dinner table, they can look over and have something to focus on. And on either side, I've placed a copper pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. I bought these last year and I thought they could stand like little soldiers and guard our look here today and complete it. And this is how you can style your sideboard. Delight your family and guests with a beautiful fall table setting. Let the rich colors of the season soothe your soul. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with table settings.